Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Some time ago, I made a few videos about how you can read manga on your smartphone and on your Kindle. For Android, we have apps like Tachiyomi and Aniyomi, whereas for the Kindle Paperwhite, we have the Kindle Paperwhite. Then what about the PC? Worry not because I have just the right tools for it and that is exactly what today's video is going to be about. So without further ado, let's start today's video about how to read manga on your PC. To do this, you need to download a software application called Hakuneko. There are a few other apps like this but Hakuneko is one of the easiest to use. First, we have to download Hakuneko. There are two ways to do this, both of which work the same as you will see in a few seconds. First, open your web browser and search for Hakuneko. We have two links here. The first one is the official website of Hakuneko and the second one will take you to the GitHub page. Open Hakuneko's official website. Here we have two options called the stable version and the nightly version. Click on the one that reads Hakuneko stable. This will redirect you to the GitHub page of Hakuneko. Hakuneko is available on three platforms, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. For Windows, you can download Hakuneko either as a zip file or as an executable. First click on this link, choose the location and then save the file. Once the file is downloaded, open it and install Hakuneko. And it's done. Congratulations. You have successfully installed Hakuneko. Now open Hakuneko and it will run a quick check for updates. This is the window that you will see when you open Hakuneko. On the right side is the description and some information about the app. Let us take a quick look at the settings. Hakuneko will work at its best with the default settings, but there are a few settings that you can change according to your own preferences. The first one is the manga directory. You can choose the location where you want to save your downloaded manga. Similarly, you can change your bookmark directory. In this setting, you can set the type of file that you want your manga to be saved as. This option includes four types. The first one is image formats like JPEG, PNG or web image. The second one is a comic book archive or CBZ. The third one is a PDF and the fourth one is an EPUB. The next option you can change is the descrambling quality. This is for those who have a slower internet connection. With this, you can set the quality of the image of the manga, but I would suggest keeping it at 100. Do not mess with any settings after this. This is because almost all the settings after this are specialized for certain manga extensions. Once you are done with the settings, click here to save the changes. Now on to the most important part of the video, how to open the manga that you want to read. First, click on this column. It will open a new window. The first three options include your bookmarks, clipboard and the folder view. After that, the rest of them are all manga extensions. There are a lot of them, so to find the one that you're looking for, type the name of the website in this column and Hakuneko will find it for you. Now click on the extension in the list and Hakuneko will automatically search that extension and show you all the manga present on that extension in the list below. For slower internet connections, this can take a lot of time if the number of manga on that website are in tens of thousands. If it does not show the list, you can click on this green icon to refresh the list manually. Now in the search column right below the extension column, type the name of the manga that you want to read. Let's say Attack on Titan. Now click on the name of the manga and Hakuneko will show you all of its chapters in the column right next to it. If the manga has a lot of chapters like Naruto or One Piece, you can search for the chapter that you want to read in this column. But be sure to type the name properly or it will not work. Now on to the reading part. We have three options in front of each chapter. The one on the right side is to mark the chapters as read. On the left side we have the download button which I will explain about later. The one in the middle is the preview button. To read any chapter on Hakuneko, just click on the preview button in front of that chapter and Hakuneko will show you its pages on the right side. You can click on any page and it will open the reader. Once it's open, you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to move between the pages. On the top, we have the navigation bar. The first two options on the navigation bar are used to move to the next or the previous chapter. The third option is used to decrease the spacing between the chapter pages and the one right next to it will increase the page spacing. After this, we have the zoom in and zoom out buttons. The next two buttons are used for changing the width of the image. 
you can click on this one and the manga will zoom in to fit the window or you can click on this one to bring it back to its default image width the last two options are for scrolling down and closing the reader now i will show you how you can download the chapters when you click on the cloud icon in front of any chapter hakuneko will download that chapter into the manga directory which we saw in the settings once the chapter has been downloaded the color of the cloud icon will change from blue to yellow if you click on it a second time it will delete the existing chapter and download it again and that is all that you need to do before you start reading your favorite manga i hope this video will help you all if you enjoy the content that i upload hit that like button and you can also subscribe to my channel to stay notified about the new videos that i will upload in the future till then take care and see you next time